You can support Retro Recollections on Patreon, just like these wonderful folks. Thank you for your support. Hello everybody, welcome back to Retro Recollections. Today we are doing another in the series of looking at the, you see just here behind me, the Atari ST that I picked up recently. And today we're just looking at a couple of upgrades that I've got for it. And we're going to look at a couple of games running on it, fingers crossed. Right, the first thing that I've got is, and it's not just for the Atari ST, actually it's for the Amiga as well, because I've, I've really needed this, is this. I know you can't really see it there, but so let's have a look at a bit closer. It is a, it is an Atari or Amiga to USB mouse adapter. Now the beauty of this is, is it works for both. You may or may not know, but Atari and Amiga mouses, for want of a better word, are very similar in the way they work. There's only a couple of pins that need swapping for them to be compatible with each other. They just have a slight difference. And the good thing about this little device is it'll work with both. Now, as you can see on here, there's a couple of little jumper pins here. And when they're in the vertical position on the board, then that is Atari, it works with Atari. And if you stick them horizontally, it works as an Amiga mouse adapter. So very, very good, good value. This came from Simulant www.simulant.uk is on eBay. I'll pop a link in the description. And as you'll see in a minute, it works, works very well. And the other upgrade I did hint at was I've installed a GoTech drive in the Atari. If you saw my previous video, you will have seen that the um, floppy drive was, was having problems. And even though off screen I did give it a bit of maintenance, checked some bits and pieces on it. It didn't really change much. It wouldn't, there seems to be some sort of motor issue. It wouldn't, it wasn't um, reading discs. So I bought a GoTech. The one I got was on eBay and it came with a lovely little 3D printed case, as you can see, which fits nicely in the compartment of the original floppy drive without any modification at all to the actual drive compartment so I didn't have to modify the case or anything just in case one day I did pick up a, an original floppy drive I'll pop it back in. Now if you're going to do this yourself one thing to be aware of is that the GoTech shell and the GoTech itself is just shy maybe a, about a centimeter short for the floppy drive power supply. The floppy drive power supply in the Atari is hardwired, it's soldered to the board basically, and it's and it, so you'd have to get an extender for it so that it will uh, work and reach the actual drive. Now, I looked everywhere for a floppy drive power extender, and for the life of me, nobody in the UK is selling one. I did find one being sold, I think, in the US and that was a, an extortionate price for what it was really plus I probably ended up paying taxes, import taxes on it and I thought no. So what I did was I picked up some of these DuPont cables which we normally use for um, breadboards and things like that. So on one end is male, one end is female and I basically extended it with this, taped up the cables securely at either end and I've extended the floppy drive. They fit perfectly fine, just make sure you don't swap the cables around. So yeah, if you do encounter that, you can buy little PCBs that will extend the um, floppy drive as well. Uh, they're on eBay, but they are primarily supposed to be used if you want to take it, take it externally. And I didn't want to do that, and I didn't see the point of spending 15 pounds on a little board uh, when I could spend two pounds or one pound on a, on a set of cables and I have loads to spare for other projects. So that's done the job absolutely fine. Right, let's have a look at the Atari in action. 
So here it is. GoTech installed and USB mouse adapter ready to use an old Logitech optical mouse I had in my spares box. It was lucky that I did find this as every other USB mouse in my possession did not work with the adapter. Newer USB mice very often no longer support the old PS2 mouse protocols which this adapter requires to function. It's looking a little well loved shall we say but at least it's mostly a beige colour and a close match for both the ST and my Amiga 500. In their wisdom, Atari positioned the mouse and joystick ports under the keyboard, which is pretty awkward in general, and especially awkward when trying to use this adapter. It is slim enough and just about fits with a bit of effort, but it is not ideal. I did purchase some extension cables, as many ST owners do I found out but for whatever reason they did not work. I will have to source a better solution in the future. Switching on the machine we see the familiar GoTech file menu. Dropping down to the desktop we can see that the mouse is functioning perfectly. I don't miss having to use a ball mouse, that's for sure. I want to run some system info software, but this requires the machine to be in a higher screen mode, in this case the medium setting. Success. The software confirms that as suspected we indeed have one meg of RAM in this machine. If you recall we found a memory expansion module already installed during the teardown and restoration video. Let's capture some gameplay and put it through its paces.
very happy with what I've got. Um, I'm looking forward to exploring the Atari ST coming from the Amiga. It's a bit different, but there's a massive following for it. There's a, a good community out there of ST owners and users that I'm going to explore to to see what I can get out of this machine. What's next for the machine? I don't know. I'm going to spend some time exploring the games and the other software and then perhaps consider some other upgrades like some sort of hard disk interface or something like that possibly. We shall see. But for now, I'm just going to have fun playing some games. Well, I hope that was enjoyable and I hope that you will return next time when I have something else to show you. If you check the description, there'll be lots of links to various things in this video, including the USB adapter. There's also links to my social media channels, how you can get in touch with me and support the channel if you so wish. And so thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye bye.